Oh, what happened in that third quarter that caused you guys so many so much problems? You came out in the first half, exploded on them, and then just fell apart in the third quarter. Yeah, we uh, we just got away of we got away from what uh, that first half was about. I thought in the first half we uh, you know we did a great job of attacking early in the offense, attacking early in the shot clock, um, getting the ball up early, and uh, you know exploring early. Um, you know, I thought we slowed the pace down. We slowed the game down, and um, you know that that gives team momentum, and uh, they took advantage of it in the second half. Did it kind of feel like a freight train coming down the track in the second half? As you know, you guys would push back out, and then here they would come again, and here they would come again. Was was it a difficult thing to deal with? From a from an emotional standpoint, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, you know, here we are up uh, twenty six to start the second half, and a chance to put our foot on their throat, and uh, we came out relaxed. You know, we didn't pressure up on the ball. We didn't, um, <clears throat> you know, make anything tough. I thought they again had a stretches where they were just walking into wide open three pointers, and um, you can't do that. You know, we've been we've been getting beat like that. We got beat like that in game one. We got beat like that in game two. Um, at some point, we got to nip that in the bud, giving uncontested threes up. And then with this team, you give them open threes. They're so good at shooting them with, um, you know, with a hand in their face and contested at that point. Really can't do nothing about it. Yeah, Paul, when you look at the way you guys lost from a uh, from a mental standpoint, what is the biggest challenge on trying to salvage Sunday and win a game in the series, at least extend it? <laughs> well, we, man, we got to go out with a fight. We got to go out swinging. Um, this thing is about, at this point, you know, good thing for us. We've been great with facing uh, this kind of adversity and, and this kind of pressure um, of having, having to win to stay alive. And, um, you know, hopefully we can learn for how, from how we ended the season of getting wins when we needed to. Um, so we got to, you know, Look at Game Four as in this whole series. We got to look at this whole series as as it's still very winnable. Paul, you had a real solid night, thirty six, fifteen, and nine. But do you think there's anything else you could have done as a leader on this ball club to stop the bleeding early on? Yeah, I thought early on in the third, um, I saw it getting out of hand. But again, it comes down to trust. I trust the guys on that floor. Um, but I just thought, you know, I, I, I watched it kind of unravel. Um, you know, that's when I should have, you know, stepped in and, and demanded the ball maybe a little bit more to just just to start out, uh, get us moving, get it flowing, uh, get everybody in the rhythm again, um, engage everybody once again. Um, I did a poor job of that to start that third. Paul, up until that second half, what did that first half feel like? Was it some of the best basketball you, you felt like you guys had clicked all season long? It was, man, it was effortless. You know, it was effortless. Nobody was, was thinking about, um, there was no thought process. Everything was happening. Um, there was no thought process at all. We were, we were just playing. We were feeding off the crowd. We were feeding off one, one another energy. Um, <clears throat> again, it, it just, it was natural. And uh, I thought that second half, once they, you know, put their head down and, and started attacking us and started getting going, um, I thought we got away from that. And uh, that was really the game plan right there. Paul, you spoke to the Cavs um, shooting lights out in the second half. And you've spoken before of this team's inability to get out and guard shooters. At one point this season, you said, we're not adapting to the modern NBA in those, re in those regards. When you say we, is that indicative of the roster? Is it X's and O's? Is it those putting this team together? Who, when you say we, who are you talking about? No, nah, I mean, it's, we're the guys on the court. we got to get the job done, uh, myself included, you know, all of us. Um, you know, it's... it's Again, it's not me singling out teammates. You know, we, 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 we got to do a better job um, <clears throat> of of talking, of communicating, of you know, knowing where everybody is on the floor. And uh, again, in today's NBA, it's tough guarding stretch teams, and 
this is one of the toughest matchups of doing it. Um, like I said, man, it's, it's, you just can't give open threes to, to knock down shooters. Because uh, then once it's time to, to lock in, you know, those guys are going to make contested threes. They're going to make tough threes. It's really nothing you can do at that point.